Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about hypercalcemia in malignancy. So hypercalcemia is elevated calcium levels in serum and is a common manifestation of certain types of cancers and cancer metastasis. Normally, the parathyroid gland secretes parathyroid hormone, PTH, in response to low serum calcium levels. Parathyroid hormone travels to the bone and binds to parathyroid hormone receptors on osteoblasts, the bone building cells, to increase expression of rank ligand. Rank ligand binds to rank on osteoclasts, the bone resorbing cells, increasing its activity. Increased osteoclastic activity increases calcium resorption, increasing serum calcium levels. Calcium is transported in blood bound to albumin, a protein produced by the liver. Some travel as free serum calcium. The normal range of serum calcium is 2.25 to 2.65 millimoles per liter. If serum calcium levels are elevated, this will send a negative feedback to the parathyroid gland to reduce parathyroid hormone secretion. Primary hyperparathyroidism and malignancy are the two most common causes of increased serum calcium levels. Anyone who presents with hypercalcemia, if cause is unknown, should first have their parathyroid hormone levels tested. If parathyroid hormone level is high, it's likely primary hyperparathyroidism. If parathyroid hormone levels are low, but calcium levels are high, cancer screening should be considered. The mechanism of hypercalcemia in cancer are many. It includes bone metastasis, from a primary cancer, such as breast cancer or lymphoma, or a primary bone cancer, like multiple myeloma. Either or, these can stimulate osteoclastic activity in the bone, leading to osteolytic lesions, increases serum calcium levels, leading to hypercalcemia. Malignancies such as ovarian cancer can produce ectopic parathyroid hormone secretions. Parathyroid hormone acts like the regular hormone and as we know stimulates osteoclastic activity. Parathyroid hormone related proteins can be produced and is associated with renal cell carcinoma and small cell lung cancers. Parathyroid hormone related proteins acts like parathyroid hormone stimulating osteoclastic activity eventually. And this will obviously lead to hypercalcemia. Some lymphomas have the ability to secrete vitamin D. Active vitamin D, known as calcitriol, increases calcium reabsorption from the kidneys. It increases absorption of calcium from the intestines and increases calcium and phosphate release from the bone. And so all of this, all in all, Vitamin D produced by some lymphomas can lead to hypercalcemia. When serum calcium levels are elevated above 2.65 millimoles per liter, it can cause a range of symptoms, which can be remembered as bones, stones, thrones, groans, and moans. So psychiatric moans are symptoms such as anxiety, depression, memory loss, unsteady gait, poor sleep, and paresthesia I've put here. Stones include nephrolithiasis. Thrones include constipation and polyuria, likely secondary to diabetes insipidus from the high calcium levels. Abdominal groans are abdominal pains. And then bones are essentially bone pains, myalgia, or muscle cramps. The management of hypercalcemia in malignancy, but also in general, include aggressive normal saline infusion up to 5 liters in 24 hours. 
This corrects dehydration, naturesis, and calcium excretion. Loop diuretics can be used if patients have heart failure or bad renal failure to help clear out the aggressive fluid infusion. This phosphonates is the most effective management for hypercalcemia. It can directly inhibit osteoclastic activity. When reabsorbed by osteoclasts, it promotes osteoclastic apoptosis. This phosphonates can lower calcium levels to normal in 50% of patients in 4 days and 90% of patients in 10 days. Common bisphosphonates used include zaledronic acid and pomidronate. For refractory hypercalcemia, aka hypercalcemia not improving, you can consider using denosumab or calcitonin. Denosumab is a monoclonal antibody that binds to rank L, preventing rank L from activating rank on osteoclasts. And this can be used in patients with renal failure where bisphosphonates are contraindicated. Calcitonin is actually a normal hormone produced by your body and increases the excretion of calcium from the kidneys and decreases bone reabsorption by inhibiting osteoclast activity. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on hypercalcemia in malignancy. Remember, hypercalcemia, the two most important causes are primary hyperparathyroidism and malignancy. Thank you for watching.